Okay, cloner. Uh, sorry for the vertical video, but this is how I can fit everything into the frame. Uh, this is the cloner, and uh, it, how it looks in, in Linux, it's pretty much the same how it looks in Windows. And uh, this, uh, this is not a camera, it's a TCAP uh, developer board, which we use for hacking around uh, stock firmware and our custom firmware a lot. It's an open source product and absolutely amazing. And this one is connected to a USB hub uh, and power source. Cloner is configured to have a file. This is how you do it. You select your uh, SOC, uh, SOC, whatever you call it. And then you select uh, writer profile. And then you switch to policy and you select the file which you want to flash onto the car, onto the camera. Then you click save, you save it, and then you click start. You start the cloner yet before you uh, switch onto the camera or onto the board here. So the cloner is running. And now we go to the actual board. Uh, here's the, the flash chip. Uh, I use uh, DIP8 uh, flash chip, but you have uh, another small one, but they, they're all the same. The pin number one is marked with a golden dot here. Usually it's like an embossed uh, dot. So you know that pin number one is on this corner, and then you count your pins counterclockwise. So this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need five and six. I use a metal tweezer, you can use whatever conductive thing you have. Uh, so I shot those pins, five and six, with a metal tweezer. And then I power cycle the board. Uh, I have this uh, small pin, a small button uh, for resetting the camera. So I reset the camera while shorting the pins. And then I power it up, I keep like a two, three seconds, and then I remove the shot. At this moment, you see the cloner mode kicks in, and we are erasing the chip, and then there will be flash on it. It takes a little bit of time, not so much, less than a minute. Uh, this one uses uh, 16 megabit, uh, megabyte uh, chip, so this one is a little bit longer. 8 megabit will be uh, faster, and the uh, result will be the same. And when the bar turns green, that means you are good. You can click stop here, and then you power cycle the board, and you've got the new, uh, new firmware on your hardware.